finally be making this video for you. I've been waiting for my finals to be over so I can film this. And yeah, I'm really, really freaking excited. Um, I'm going to be showing you what's in my travel bag for um, this trip I'm about to take. And it's not like going to be light traveling. It's going to be two days long. Here, let me read you my itinerary. So when you're traveling internationally, you always want to get to the airport like three, four hours before. So we're going to be at the airport for three hours. And then we have a two hour flight. And then we're going to be at the next airport for four hours. And then we have a 12 hour flight. And then we're going to be in an, an airport for four hours and then another four hour flight. So it's not like light, super easy traveling. Um, we really need a bunch of stuff to get to, through these two days. So I'm going to show you what I have. And usually when I'm on these trips, um, I'm with my mom and my sister. And we take uh, carry on bags like this one. And we share them. Uh, one of them is usually filled with food and then one of them is filled with clothes and stuff. And this year I'm traveling with my cousin, so um, I decided that I'd, I'm trying to really not take that carry-on bag and I'm just going to stick to this backpack. Uh, so far I have been able to fit everything that I need in this backpack. The only reason I would end up taking that is if um, my checked baggage is too heavy and I need to put some of the stuff in that and carry it around. But it's just a lot easier to have like a backpack or something because I don't have to worry about where that bag is. I can go to the bathroom and have this. I can go get food or whatever, just walk around and have this on my back and not have to worry about it. So that's really good. Um, originally I was gonna uh, take the checked baggage and uh, purse but this is a lot smarter, especially for me, because in Iran, I'm going to be needing a backpack, so it's great. In this backpack, it has a pouch right here, and then on the inside, it's just normal, but it has like this pouch right here, which is really, really helpful um, to contain stuff and just give this bag more space. Um, so before I get into what I put into the bag, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be wearing, because this is really, really important. You really need to think about this when you're traveling. I say throw being cute out of the door completely when you're traveling, even if it's like a short trip, but especially for a longer trip, just focus on comfort. You can be cute and comfortable, but focus on comfort. Um, I've traveled so much, I've been on so many airplanes, and trust me when I tell you like, traveling in tight clothes um, is just terrible. Like anytime I travel in leggings, it's the worst because once you get into that humid air, um, you get all sweaty and then your legs get super itchy. It's just, it's just bad. So it's very important to stay comfortable, especially because again, I'm going to be traveling for like two days. So yeah, I have to be in this clothes for two days. So um, it's very important. Let me show you guys. So I'm going to be wearing these pants and these are really dope. Uh, they were only $12 from Forever 21. And I really love them. Like Adidas and Nike and stuff make pants like these now. And it's like so trendy. But I got these for $12. And they have pockets, which is going to be so helpful and useful to me. And they're just comfy. They're warm, but not too warm. So yeah, I love those. And then um, I'm going to be wearing a tank top because... Uh, when I get to actually get to Iran, it's an Islamic country and I have to wear a cover-up, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So it's going to be just a lot easier to have this on and then throw that on uh, when I get to Iran. And I'm going to be wearing this jacket over it. Um, again, as I mentioned, airport, airports and airplanes are really cold. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. So it's really important to have a jacket. And this one's really nice because it's, um, it's light and it's so comfy. It feels like a blanket. And I can like roll up the sleeves if I want. Um, and then if I want to take it off, I can and just roll it up really small and throw it in my backpack. It's no big deal. And I'm going to be wearing this sports bra. Again, I just wanted to show you guys um, so you'll see like just some just pick something really comfortable that you can hang out in for a while. And I'm going to be wearing these shoes. They're Chacos, um, which are just like athletic sandals. And I really recommend wearing like a sturdier shoe. Uh, these are great because I can slip them on and off in airport security or on the airplane. And um, they're still really sturdy so I can walk around at the airport and run and catch my flight if I need to. Okay, so now for what's actually going to be in the bag. Um, I've sectioned this off into three things. The stuff that I need, the stuff that, uh, the food that I need, and then um, entertainment. So stuff that I need includes stuff I need for traveling and stuff I need to stay comfortable. So the first thing here is this cover up. 
And it, this is what I told you I'm going to be wearing in Iran. Um, it's really cute. I really like it. Um, but yeah, it's super duper nice for summer because it's lightweight and airy. And yeah, I'm going to need that when I get to Iran for sure. So we have to cover um, not only our bodies, but also our heads. And I got this headscarf for that to match the, the manto I just showed you. And yeah, it just looks like this. Not really like this, but yeah, basically like that. And it's so cute. Um, and I'm also taking an extra shirt here and an extra pair of underwear, just in case you never know, like what if I throw up on myself or somebody spills something on me, or maybe, I don't know, your cousin will need your shirt. And since I'm wearing a tank top, like maybe I'll just wanna throw this on. So yeah, it's just nice to have an extra shirt. And extra underwear because obviously like you're traveling and you want to change your underwear if you're traveling for two days at one point. That's just fucking gross. Um, and then in this pouch right here, which I call my easy access pouch, um, I'm going to be having my two passports, my American passport and Iranian passport. Very, very important that I don't use those. Um, I have my wallet with my ID and all my cards. Um, I have my gum. I mean, no, this is a gum. I have my headphones, which are so important for traveling. I have two pairs in here, just in case. But these are like my main headphones. They're these Bose ones. I got these like three or four years ago, and I still use them. They're still really, really awesome. Um, I recommend all of you guys like invest in headphones once, and like it just changes the way music sounds to you. And they usually last really long if you're able to not lose them or break them. So these are really dope, and they're going to come in so much handy. Um, and then I have, sorry y'all. And then in that front pouch, I have some gum. Again, very important for traveling, not only to keep your breath fresh, but when you're taking off and landing on flights and you're, you just get all poppy, this can really, really help stop that. And then I have my charger, which is super important um, because my phone is my life. <laughs> So next stuff that I'm going to need, um, basically all my toiletries are in this pouch right here that I got from um, Sephora. It's a see-through bag and I really, really like these, especially because um, you know you can see through it, you can see what you need. And I don't think I need to put any of these in another baggie anymore. I think this counts as a baggie. So basically in here, I have um, I have some lotion, some hand cream. This is the Winter Candy Apple by Bath and Body Works. And then I have another hand cream. This is Burt's Bees Hand Salve. It's a little bit thicker than the, the Bath and Body Works ones, just for like that cracked um, airplane air, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I have some glasses cleaner, cleaning cloth, which is so handy. Um, and then I have some CeraVe face wash in here, which I'm definitely going to be washing my face in the middle of the process to, you know, freshen up. And I have, in this bottle, I have a mix of rose water and witch hazel. And this is going to be so nice to just like, oh, just refresh myself and just get that dirty, like, air, airport air. It's so gross. Like, think how many people have been on an airplane and all that germ and nasty just it's just floating in the air and this will make me feel a lot better um i also have some cotton swabs if i want to wipe my face down with the witch hazel rose water and um i have some chapstick super important um toothpaste and floss because i'm going to be brushing my teeth and flossing <laughs> i have some eye drops just in case my eyes get dry or whatever um i have this L'Oreal eye cream, which I'm probably gonna use it as just like a whole face cream, just this one time, because I don't want to take a moisturizer. <laughs> and then for makeup, um, I, I'm not gonna be wearing makeup like when I start the trip for sure, but when I get to Iran, like my whole family's always like there. So I like to not look like a dead person, which I do look like at the end of this trip for sure. So I decided to take a little bit of makeup um, Oh, nothing crazy. I'm just taking concealer. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal. I just started using this and this is honestly really nice. Um, I'm taking the Kat Von D Lock It Mini Powdered in Translucent to set the concealer. Um, I have my Kylie Lip Kit in Ginger, which is my favorite lipstick ever. Um, I have this Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, 
just in case like I want to be glossy. I don't know. I should have turned that fan off before I started this. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, and then I have some mascara. Um, and that's it for the pouch. Um, and then I got my toothbrush and deodorant. Very important. Also, this is an all-natural deodorant. It's rose and vanilla. This is my favorite all-natural deodorant I have ever tried. It's by Schmitz. It's very good. I recommend it. Oh, I also have a mirror that I'm going to put into that pouch. Just so I can look at my ugly ass face. Um, and then last thing that I'm going to need for comfort is this collagen hydro gel gold mask. I didn't really care what kind of mask it was. I just wanted a sheet mask for my long 12 hour flight so that my, my skin doesn't die. But, and I just like want to be a little bit extra and like have fun or whatever. So this is going to be fun to have like a little mid flight camper session. Okay, now on to food. Food is really important um, for these long trips because airport food is expensive and airplane food is gross. So you have to think about taking really filling good snacks. Um, and since I'm not taking a carry-on, it is a little bit hard for me. Um, but what I have narrowed it down to are I have these lemon tea biscuits by Nature Box. This is a full package. I am taking this to Iran. I'm excited to eat that. They're so good. I also have these peanut butter nom nom cookies by Nature Box. They're just like peanut butter ball cookies. They're really good too. Pretty filling. Um, and then I got these Keebler fudge strip minis to take. They're gonna be yummy. And I got a bag of jelly beans. Um, I really love having like candy or nuts or something to just keep my mouth entertained. But the most important snack that I'm taking and something that I recommend all to all of you guys, especially if you have children, are these Smuckers Uncrustable Little Things. These are so nice. Um, you might know these because they used to have them at like school lunches. If you didn't want the school lunch, you would get like one of these. They're basically just pre-packaged um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But these are so nice for traveling because you can just throw them into your bag. Um, you fr they come in a box like this and you just freeze them. And you can throw them into your bag and you can have them out of the freezer or out of the fridge for at least a couple of days. So yeah, these are going to be dope. I'm probably going to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner a few times. Um, and then last category is entertainment, and I'm taking, I'm taking my Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book. Harry Potter is my favorite series of all time. I have a tattoo representing it, and every couple of years I like to reread the whole series, um, and summer is just a really good time to do that. So I'm going to start reading this, rereading the whole series, and I'm going to start from um, Sorcerer's Stone, so I'm excited. And then I have this coloring book. I got this from Target. It was like $3, I think. Um, but it's really dope because like it just has like a bunch of really crazy geometric shapes. I could spend hours, hours um, coloring this. So that's going to be really helpful and entertaining. And then I have this pouch with like my entertainment in it. And I just have... Um, I have some stuff from my nails. I have this nail kit that has... This has come in handy for me so many times. It has a nail clipper, um, some scissors, some tweezers, just everything that you need. And then I have a nail fly, a nail file right here. This is my favorite kind because I like to have like square nails. And then this one, um, it's like a, it's for the surface of your nails. So like buff it and shine it. And I really just enjoy doing my nails. So this is going to be fun. And I have some mints in here. And then I just have um, the colored pencils for the coloring book and some pens and a sharpener. So is that it? Yeah, that's it. Also for entertainment, um, I packed up my phone is gonna be like probably my, um, what is it? I don't know the word, but my phone is gonna be like my main entertainment source. That was the word. Um, <laughs> and on my phone, I have, I'm gonna load it up with some podcasts, some, I got some games that don't require Wi-Fi. Um, I have a book on my phone called The Secret by Rhonda something, I believe, and uh, it's about, it's one of those like self-help confidence books. Um, I'm also going to be downloading the audiobook for How to Be a Bounce by Lily Sings, who is Superwoman on YouTube. She wrote a book and I've heard really, really good reviews about it, so I decided to get the audiobook of it, which is going to be really nice to listen to on the way there, and of course... My, I'm going to load my phone up with some music. So um, I think podcasts and audiobooks are a really, really good way to um, 
pastime, especially podcasts because they're free and you can just download them onto your phone and then you don't need Wi-Fi to listen to them. So I will link some of my favorite podcasts and books below if you guys want to try to find them on the internet for yourself. And yeah, I believe that that's it. Um, please subscribe and come back because I'm going to be doing a what's in my checked baggage thing and I'm, I, I have, I'm not done with that but I hope that it's under 50 pounds because then it'll be like a really cool thing to have like one baggage under 50 pounds for a month um, and I'm going to be showing you guys kind of what to pack if you are on this trip or on a trip like this so yeah um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I really hope that it brought something to you this is what my bag looks like when it's all filled up Hold on, sorry. I did it while I was doing this video. But this is what my bag looks like when it's all filled up. Um, again, it's it's when you look into it, it's all like food. <laughs> but that will be eaten quickly, and that's fine. But it, it they, everything fits in here perfectly fine. And it's just dope! And I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to go to Iran. I'm excited to post stuff. I'm going to be vlogging my trip actually going there. So stay tuned for that. Yup, that's it. Subscribe, do everything that you want, check me out, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to subscribe to you, let me know in the comments. I definitely will. I love internet friends. Okay, that's it. Subscribe. Love you.